Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Right, OK, listen. Um, I'm naming this Prolific Day because there's going to be lots of me. <laughs> there's just so much going on, right? So we're going to do a few vids today about a few things. I'm going to start with a kind of roundup because it's exciting. There's loads going on. And I love it when loads is going on, as I know you. Good jest rights do too. So <laughs> we're going to do some... <laughs> We're going to do quite a few today. <laughs> it must be mad. So, here's the news first, right? Okay. My last client's gone. There we go. That's it. Game over. Um, so now the fight to become a full-time jester begins. All right? Because I've got to be... A, I, just, I want to do this full-time. Because I, I don't know whether you know, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to be having a studio shortly. I hope, right? I've got one of my Radfem mates. I'm going to come around and help me do it. How fantastic is that? So, yeah. I want to do it full time. That's now my target is to do it full time. And you are the only people that can help me do it. So you can subscribe to my Substack, which would be a great help if I could get, you know, under you to do that, I'd be on the way, right? So subscribe to my Substack if you can, it's five or a month. Um, or if you want to be a warrior teacher, let me know. This is the last few days now before we have the Q&A on Sunday at 8, 8 p.m. in the evening. And, uh, and then we'll be opening the doors for the actual enrollment. Um, I think the, the the sort of six o'clock one's full, I hope. You never know, do you? Because I'll get 100 people will say, yeah, great, let's do it. And then 12 will turn up to the meeting and I'll get six people. <laughs> but that's the way of the world, isn't it? So, um, or you can support me on Stripe or send me a super thing on YouTube. I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> you can now, right? And then, okay, we're going to get the studio. I want a studio. So I can have a studio and I can do things properly. And instead of being sat here by this dreary plant pots and windows, we're going to have a little studio with a, perhaps a neon sign if I can get one. Jester. We'll see, eh? I just think it's all rather exciting and I hope you're excited for me. But before that, I've got a few things here that we need to talk about. Just straightforward stuff. This is great. This is just brilliant, right? Okay. <laughs> just brilliant. Now, there, there may be those of you who are unaware of a thing called chat... What's it called? Chat GP or something, right? It's called chat GP. Now, chat GP is um, a... An AI program, right, that can, if you ask it a question, it'll come up with all sorts of stuff. So you ask it, write me an essay in the form of Judith Butler, and it'll come up with a load, load of gobblefunk, you know? Or write me an, write, 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 who is the EDI jester? The EDI jester is a mad, fat, bearded lunatic. You know, it, it, it does this AI thing, which is interesting. But of course, it's profoundly biased because it's written by humans and because it's written by lefty, mad humans who were all stoned in San Francisco, wherever it is it was written that it comes up with absolute unmitigated cobblers most of the time, right? So the, the rather marvellous outcome of that is that you, you get some funny stuff happen, occur, right? So there's a couple of Twitter accounts that did this. The links are in the dubris, all right? A couple of Twitter accounts that did this. <laughs> One called I Am Billy Bragg, Fraser Anderson, who hails from Scotland. Fraser! A fantastic Scotch name there. Look, Fraser, how are you? So we've got Fraser. I am Billy Bragg, who I follow, um, who's a pro indie Scot um, and an academic and a teacher, right? Okay, and is, and is against Gits rewriting history. I like this guy immediately, right? So hello, Fraser, how are you? And secondly, hey -o, hello to someone who I'm proud to say I've met, a, a lovely woman who enjoys imbibing a glass of wine along with my good self, and whose cigarettes I will steal if they're within hand's distance, right? The wonderful, the irreplaceable, fond of Beatles, Emma Hilton. <laughs> Hello, Emma! How are you, my lovely? It's been a long time. Don't know why. We're both busy people, aren't we? Right, so... Billy says, got to love ChatGPT. That's it, ChatGPT is called... Um, when it put in that it was after, what is gender identity? They asked GPT, uh, at chat GPT, to p give, us, give us the answer to the question, what is the proof for the existence of gender ideology? Um, and apparently, when they asked it, it came up with all sorts of nonsense. And, and Emma's responded to Billy's tweet, which says, <laughs> says got to love chat GPT. It said, I apologise for any confusion earlier. This is a AI. I apologise. It's like talking to Data <laughs> from Star Trek. I apologise for any confusion earlier, says chat GPT. I need to <laughs> correct my previous statement. 
There is currently no single study or line of evidence that provides a three sigma proof for the existence of gender identity as a biological or chemical phenomenon. I.e. it doesn't exist. Right, okay. I'm guessing it put the chemical phenomenon bit at the bottom because cis is a, chemi it's a chemistry term, isn't it, originally? To which Emma replies, and I could just see her saying it. That's the beauty of it. Oh! Got another glass of wine, Emma. Oh! <laughs> oh! I got a similar, similar apology when it invented a meta-study about performance metrics in trans women. It even gave me fake information. It's got DOI, I'm not sure what that is. I think that's, you know, where you get a link, an academic link to a study. It gave me, even gave me a fake DOI. I told it I couldn't find the study by DOI, PubMed, Google search, or in the journal website. Then it retracted. And then Billy responds, it took a couple of academic pro academically polite don't play silly buggers from me, but eventually we got there. Now, this is incredibly interesting um, because what it means is, despite the fact that we know the thing's biased, it comes up with bullshit all the time, leftist nonsense, right? We know it's biased by these lunatics in, you know, <sighs> hey, man, who are all like Dylan, the rabbit from <laughs> Magic Roundabout sitting in San Francisco going, how can we screw with the world next? <laughs> Choking on big marijuana fags, right? <coughs> Yeah, I'd like one of them. No, never mind, right? Okay. Is that, first of all, somebody might ask the question of ChatGPT, or whatever it's called, and never go and check whether it's telling the truth. But if you know, as Billy has said here, um, it, did you see what it tried on Emma, which is about the fake bit? Um, that's seriously funny, but also mostly alarming. Non-academics wouldn't even check, I suspect. Well, we don't, I mean, people don't check stuff all the time. I made a twat myself yesterday, posted some lots that I hadn't checked. I quickly took it out before anybody noticed what twat I am. So we all do that. So that's, that is the worrying bit, is that most people wouldn't check, right? But when you do check and you sort of hold the thing under the thumb to get it to do what it's supposed to do, it actually comes up with a truth, but you have to force it to do it. That's the bias in the machine. It's not a ghost in the machine. It's a bias in the machine, which comes from the fact that it's been programmed by lunatic stone rabbits called Dylan. <laughs> hey, California, how you doing over there? California, Ooh, I'm coming home. <sighs> Past the dodgy on the left hand side and all that, right? OK, but it's fascinating to see that, as he said, most academic people wouldn't bother. I mean, most people bother, don't bother to check the things they read at all. They just take the headline and run with it. Especially if you're under 30. You know, it screams some nonsense at you when you're gone. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Living in a world of what might be instead of what is. Yeah. So I thought that was really, really fun. I thought that was really fun that that had happened. And then these two things, which are absolutely in no, <laughs> no way related at all, really. Not. I just happened to come both across both of them. <clears throat> at the same time, right? So there's a second bit of good news for us this day. In the second video that's out today, within an hour of the first one, I think, <laughs> is this wonderful piece of news that will give heart to the people and the folks of New Zealand. I saw a really stupid person from New Zealand, right? Okay, somebody put, I think I told you this the other day, but I'll say it again, because it's still making me laugh. So somebody put up something about, good God, what was that we saw in New Zealand with Posey Parker and with all the crowds and everything that was going on? And it was all sort of, and, and behaving in the most extraordinary manner. And they put, it's like something out of Lord of the Flies. To which an idiot New Zealander underneath had put, I think you meant Lord of the Rings. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's still making me laugh. Sorry, I said that yesterday. I know I did. So come on, here it comes. Here it comes. You want it? You want it? Can you feel the tension in the air? You want it? Here it comes. Links in the dubris, folks, as usual. Become a warrior teacher. See, I'm making you wait. Posey Parker, juice thrower. Eli Rubber Shaken, right? Charged with assault. <laughs> you best get back on the plane, you vicious little man, you. Charged with assault. This is reported in the New Zealand Herald by Raphael Franks. Um, and again, the links are in the Dubris. Posey Parker juice thrower. <laughs> Posey Parker juice thrower. 
And Eli Rubberskin. I mean, you know, the, the New Zealanders do throw in juice over here. We pour piss over ourselves. Weird people we are. Posa Parker, juice thrower. Eli Rubberskin speaks out as police are seeking a warrant for her. It says for her arrest. It's him, obviously. His arrest. The protester who doused controversial British speaker Kelly J. J. Minazol with tomato juice at Auckland rally has been charged with assault. In a statement, police confirmed a person has been summoned to appear in the Auckland District Court on a single charge of common assault. It is understood the accused is activist Eli Rubbish. Rubbish had earlier said that police told them a a warrant was likely to be filed. Police denied this yesterday after Rubbish had already flown, (laughs) flown to Scotland, to Australia. Yeah. Is it flown or took flight? Who knows? They are en route to New York. He's, she, he's en route to New York, according to Ruben's R- 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 Twitter account. And earlier told the Herald they'll probably not return to New Zealand for some time. Okay, he's gone on the run. <laughs> this is just... <laughs> Years ago, you went on the run, right? If you murdered someone or kidnapped someone, or, you know, you went on the run because you owed lots of money or whatever it may be. This guy's gone on the run because he upset a bottle of tomato juice. Right? You know, now, it's an awful thing that happened, but it's, you know, but it, Posey knows. It helped. My God, it's peaks and people. Posey knows. Oh, Posey knows, you know. <laughs> oh, Posey knows. Posey knows. Posey knows, you know. <laughs> right, whereas this twat thinks he's Al Capone. <laughs> I am on to run from international powers that are taking me down. <laughs> I mean, you had to be in the Twitter space the other night to believe how absolutely insane this person is. They are deranged beyond belief. Deranged beyond belief. There's a good picture of him going around with a full beard, smiling, when he used to be, you know, a serious human, I imagine. I am scared. I've been receiving a lot of death threats. Rubichon posted an image of themselves aboard a flight, of, of, him, of himself aboard a flight at 11.51, saying... On my way to New York, about an hour later, he posted a video to social media where he said that New Zealand had set a precedent that countries could stand up against hate. Right, really? 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 <laughs> Can you imagine New Zealand's despair? If in the history book a hundred years from now it says... <laughs> New Zealand? New Zealand? <laughs> Instigated uh, a national president which was vegetable-based. <laughs> I mean, that's not a line you want in the history books, is it? Sitting next to a bottle of tomato juice, <laughs> blah, 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 said, <laughs> their posse, I think, are you, your genocidal hate will not be accepted in many countries of the world. Absolute lunatic. I mean, absolutely insane. We've got a loon on the run, right? Okay. Um, which means that in New Zealand, uh, a village somewhere is missing an idiot. <laughs> What the hell is this going on here? Of course you're being paid for your hate, they claimed. You need to hate in order to use that energy to unite. But love is so powerful, so universal, it is everywhere. It is almost like the oxygen of the universe. This is a lunatic, right? Rubble video was accompanied by the caption, a message to Nazi apologist transphobe Posey Parker. Trans women are women. Ah, the entire world's press is chasing down a nutter that's on the run somewhere. <laughs> and he's done it so covertly he's had to take a national train line to do it. Put a photo of himself online. <laughs> and then hold a Twitter face. <laughs> this is the most indiscreet on the run in history. A police spokesperson told the Herald several attempts were made Tuesday and Wednesday to locate a person of interest after a publicised assault at Alba Park. This person is aware that police would like to locate and talk to them about the incident and ask them to come forward so the matter can be dealt with appropriately. Police will not be commenting further on the investigation. (laughs) Rubidoux shared a screenshot of an alleged email from police urging her to front up, him to front up, claiming the situation could escalate unnecessarily if a warrant was served. Some people are asking to revoke my citizenship. I have a warrant for arrest issued already, so I will be arrested if I am in New Zealand, she, he claimed. I will go to prison. <laughs> yes, yes, you, you will, you tosser. National want to make an example. To them, free speech is more important than human rights. How's that for a scary line? Doesn't associate free speech with a human right. 
If that's not an indicator of madness, I don't know what is. Insanity. That's insanity. It doesn't associate free speech with a human right. Wow. Sicko, right? Um, blah, 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 whatever his name is, <laughs> said a group of people were helping to find a lawyer and to raise money for a legal defence. Don't give a fucker a penny. <laughs> Yesterday, police announced they were investigating allegations of offending <laughs> at the Vision and New Zealand and Posey Parker protests in Auckland over the weekend after receiving a number of calls and reports. Around 150 to 200 people showed up in support, um, but they were drowned out by 2,000. We know the story. But this is extraordinary stuff, isn't it? Doesn't, doesn't associate free speech with being with, with a human right. Um, it, this is all queer performativity, by the way. All of it. The whole, I'm so safe, he's online. But I am, and then he, I, I understand that he went into the toilet and pissed while he was doing the space so everybody could hear. Right? And everybody that was in that space that was talking to him were enabling him. Not only that, you, whatever legal action's coming up, you may well have influenced it. You want to think twice about what we're doing, peeps. I don't mean that with any disrespect. But for God's sake, wise up. Don't give these people oxygen. Don't give them any time at all. Send them to commentary. I'm not speaking to you because you're a nutter and you believe in gender identity, ideology and queer theory. Goodbye, nutter. Anyway, there you go. Chat, G chat GPT giving us an absolute ball of a time with Emma, right? <laughs> and this stupid man floozy. <laughs> Travelling the world on various platforms in an attempt to escape the law and doing so publicly and advertising where he is. Okay, folks. I can't cope.